Welcome to chapter one of the video manual for the NXT 1.0 soundware package for the Kurzweil PC3, PC3 LE, and SP4 series instruments. In chapter one, what I want to talk about is the included control setup. So first of all, let me show you how to uh, change the control setup of a PC3. I'm going to hit the MIDI button, okay? And the very first thing on the top line is control setup. Now, when you uh, first turn on the PC3, or um, generally speaking, your control setup is going to be set to 126 internal voices. The control setup that comes with this soundware package is called NXT Control Set. So you can either scroll or punch in the number to uh, get to where you have installed this control setup. So for me, it's number 1793. And once you've selected it here, you can just exit out, and now this is your control setup. This control setup adds functionality to the PC3 that makes it, in my opinion, uh, more useful for synthesis. And I'm going to explain what that added functionality is. The main changes are to these program buttons up here. If you're using the default control setup, these are used to select uh, programs that are in these uh, categories. With this control setup, we've overridden what these program buttons do and given them uh, custom functions to control the arpeggiator and to control some synth parameters. So first of all, let me demonstrate for you the uh, synth parameters that you can control uh, with these buttons. Okay, so if I'm playing a program um, that's included in this sadware package, uh, normally it will play back polyphonically, meaning I can play more than one note at a time. Okay, if I hit button one, what that does is that makes it play back monophonically. So I can only play one note at a time. Button two turns on portamento. Okay, button three is uh, portamento time number one. Okay, turning it off is portamento time number two. Turning on button four is portamento time uh, number three. And that's a very long sort of glide time. Okay, let me show you now what you can do with the arpeggiator uh, with, with, with this uh, control setup. So the first thing that I want to do here is I'm going to turn on the arpeggiator. Okay, so by default on the PC3, uh, if I turn on the arpeggiator in program mode, this is what you'll probably hear. Okay, and you, that's, that's, that's basically the extent of it unless you go into setup mode where you can control more of the arpeggiator parameters. What this control setup does is it repurposes buttons 5, 6, 7, and 8 to control the arpeggiator even more, and it also adds functionality to the sustain pedal. The sustain pedal normally is set to just sand 127, uh, or um, the, 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 the MIDI CC for sustain, uh, number 64. So what I've done is I've changed it so that with the ar uh, arpeggiator off, it works as a regular sustain pedal. With the arpeggiator on, it works as a latch. So now it's going to latch these notes and it's going to hold them as long as I hold down the sustain pedal. Now what I've done here with buttons 5, 6, 7, 7 is program in different arpeggiator note lengths. Button 5 is quarter notes. Button six is eighth notes, and button seven is sixteenth notes. Now button eight will hold the notes that I've already played. So I can take my foot off the sustain pedal. And I can play other notes on the keyboard while the arpeggiated notes that I entered are playing. One of the nice things is that most programs on the PC3, by default, only span a certain number of keys. 
For instance, if I transpose down three octaves so that transpose is minus 36 steps, there are keys down here that don't make any sound at all. These can be useful with the arpeggiator because they allow you to insert rests. So for instance, I'm going to turn on the art button and I'm going to hold down the sustain pedal to program a sequence. So the first note of the sequence will be D. Okay, and I'm going to put in a rest. Okay, now I'm going to hit another note. And I'm going to put in another rest. And then, let's see, I'll hit another note. And put in another rest. And then I can say, for instance, put in a few more. Three, four, five, six. So there's six rests. So in that way, I can program in actual sequences of notes to play back. And this will play back at the system tempo. So for instance, uh, while I'm here, if I go to master, and I go to, let's see here, tempo, I can turn it down or I can speed it up. And all of that can be done in real time. And that is the control setup that is included with the sandbar package. In the next chapter, we will discuss uh, the first of the programs that are available, or the first of the synth models that are available in this package called Plink.